Hello, fam. And we're here for another episode or video, however y'all want to call it, with me, Deb Chanel, and with you, the family of hair. And of course, we're going to be talking about Kenya Moore, Kim Zosiak, and Nene Leakes. All compliments of Showbiz Cheat Sheet. All right. Yes, give it up. And they got Armando Tenneco over there as the correspondent or journalist of this particular article. He gives us a title of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Is Kenya Moore trying to be like Kim Zosiak? Nene Leakes thinks so. Now, I have heard of Nene Leakes. Wanting to be like Kim Zosiak because she definitely always had her hairdo together, made up like Kim Zosiak. Several wigs Nene have, and of course, we all know Kim Zosiak wears wigs as well. We're no stranger to that, she's no stranger to that. It's all good in the neighborhood, at least they can admit to wearing wigs. Whereas Kenya Moore cannot, will not say. She wears wigs, okay? All them flowing tresses of hers. She said they're hers. And I guess you could say they're her. They are hers because she sit there and buy the false hair to put in her hair to make it longer. What do you all think? Okay, that's just my pun intended. My perception on the matter at hand. But family, y'all tell me what y'all think about it. Do Kenya Moore actually wears more hair pieces on the daily? Or she just do it when she wants to look and have full of hair for different interviews she may have to do out there in them streets. Okay, y'all get with me on that one. Alright. But we're going to go on and get on into the story that Armando Tenneco put out. By the way, his employer, Showbiz Cheat Sheet. Okay. Y'all want some more salacious news over there, whether he's writing up the articles for us to partake of. And we're going to give a shout out to the Jasmine brand. Go to jasminebrand.com. She's another vlogger. She gets down into the entertainment news and she gives us stuff we can use. All right. So go and seek her out and look what she has to offer as far as the celebrity entertainment world of getting tea. She does a good job, okay? But anyway, we go on into this article. It says, Nene Leakes from the Real Housewives of Atlanta continues to shade her co-star, Kenya Moore. The two Bravo stars have been at odds with each other throughout the season 12. And things don't seem to get resolved. They ain't going to get resolved. It ain't going to happen. Not until the show tapes his last episode okay that's when they might find themselves true friends or then again then he might be on to more greener pastures out there okay and then kenya just have to follow her and be in tow with her because if it was no nini leaks there will be nobody there for her to beef with because i am thinking when i go back to past seasons nini Brought her into the fold as well. Met with Kenya when Kenya was staying in a hotel. Talking about she had to find her some digs. She had to find her a little apartment. Or she had to find her a house. Okay. Because she has Kenya Moore was living in a little uh, Econo Lodge or something to that effect. Yes, she was, honey. She showed up here in Atlanta with nothing. <laughs> okay. Probably clothes on her back. Running from L.A. when she tried to make it up there. <sighs> yeah. And, and evidently didn't fare too well in, in uh, New York. Or wherever she was coming from. By way of New York, I guess you should say. But let's get on back to the article. It says, uh, family for the show ended last year. And Leaks has kept on feuding with more since then. However, the Glee alarm has a strong reason about why her feuds with more don't die down. Okay, they just won't die down. But then if they did die down, what would they have? Let's think about that for a minute. If we just stop all the drama, we just stopped all the drama, guys. What would we have to look for? Them being nice with each other? We don't want niceness. We want some stuff to start. But does it always have to be between those two? No. That's why Nene split up her time. Okay. She splits up her time. 
and fuss with everybody she can get a chance to fuss with. All right? She ain't no stranger. She ain't biased. It's just whenever she can get into somebody's behind <laughs> or not, whoever she chooses to do so. They need her just as much as, uh, what do you call it? They both need each other in a sense, I should say. But, uh, I lost my place, guys. I lost my place. I'm trying to find it back on the phone. Let me see. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Y'all get the thinking down there in them comments. Uh, let's see about what I just said. Do we really need, um, what do you call it? Do we really need to stop the drama between Kenya Moore and Nene Leaks? I don't think so. I think it should stand this test of time. The storyline is getting kind of boring. They need to bring up some other dirt on each other. Like Nene need to go into her life and find out what she can about Kenya. Kenya need to do the same and bring up some new stuff. This whole thing why she can't get over Nene is because she talked about her baby. I'm like, girl, how about the people who called us Igus? You know, are you going to forget about that? you going to hold that accountable? Are you going to bring that up every time we'll be asking for reparations when it talks, when we talk about slavery? Are you going to do that? Are you going to be mad because everybody was saying you were dating a, a, a African for his uh, money he could give you and the Rolls Royce you were driving around in? You know, are we going to keep talking about that? Are we going to keep making that a storyline? No. I'm like, girl, how many names? And it's just a name. And, yeah, then he might have said that to the fact. But you know your child ain't no buffalo. Can she be talking about you with the buffalo? So if you want to get mad and say, okay, she called your child a buffalo because she was saying that you were a buffalo and you were connecting the two. Okay, good. We got it. But really, girl? Really? That's just like somebody say Brooklyn is ugly or something. You know your baby ain't ugly. I know she not ugly, but you're going to, like, take it offense because Nene said she's a buffalo? What you could have did to got back with her, you could have said uh, she's a pretty buffalo. <laughs> just like her mama. And what? You could have did it like that, but you acting like a damn child. Acting like a nut running around here. You can't talk about my child. You can't talk about my husband. And something she said was a husband. What's her marriage, her man, and her child? That's what she said. Girl, anybody can talk about all three of them and still won't lose no sleep. That's going to make you lose sleep, can you? Because somebody came for you, your man, and your wife. I mean, damn. You, your child, and your husband. You're going to get mad over something like that? Girl, please. Oh, my goodness. Let me see here. Can you more? Uh... That my bro? Yes. Huh? <laughs> we gotta be in the house at six o'clock now. Oh Lord, Trump! I tell you the truth, he's just getting worse and worse, honey. Well, then they gonna let us off our jobs early. Maybe they talking about 6 p.m. that it's going to go. But they trying to say we got to be in our house at 6 o'clock now. Every day. Yeah. yeah. I, well, I, I, guess, I guess it's 6 o'clock. That's what I'm looking at from what it says. It's stating like that it's going to go live. All right. Let me finish this tape and then I go look and see what they talking about. Okay. All right. Bye. Y'all, that was my brother and my sister-in-law. They trying to say that Trump done issued an order that we got to be in our houses at 6 p.m. I wonder how true that is, y'all. Y'all heard that? I ain't heard it. I haven't. But I ain't looking at TV or news either. Shaw! You heard it. Can you Google it and see? Woo! Okay, let me see y'all. So we get news that we can use as well. I'm trying to tape here. Okay. 
But I ain't looking at that. I'm still trying to find this story, y'all. Oh, let's see here. We got showbiz. Showbiz. Kenya Moore. Let's see. Kenya Moore. Kenya Moore hair care. Oh, Lord. Okay. Kenya Moore trying to be like Kim Sosiak. See what it brings up. Okay. Yes. All right. Here we go, y'all. We're going to go with the story. We're going to check that story out as well. Let's see if we can check them out. Okay. But yes. It's, um, I, I kind of got it together, but we go back over it just a little bit. We ain't got to go back over a little bit, because we know where we at. We're trying to summarize in this whole article that Armando Tentacle had brought up for us. Is Kenya Moore trying to act like Kim Zosiak? Is she trying to be Nene's Kim Zosiak? I don't know, because, you know, she had told Kim Zosiak some time ago, Go and pimp out your kids for more John Legend tickets. I'm like, I thought I would fall on the floor when she said that shit. I was like, King Moore, you got a vulgar ass mouth. You really do. You just hit below the belt. You at the kneecaps. Nah, you beyond the kneecaps. You at the ankles, honey. You at the little tippy toes. But that was some fraudulent mess you said about Kim pimping her children out. Okay, I was like, oh, girl. But anyway... We go on into the article again. It says, why do Nene Leaks and Kenya Moore fight so much? Uh, Leaks is the last remaining OG of Atlanta. Real Housewives of Atlanta and her relationship with Moore has been rocky throughout their shared seasons. The cast trip to Greece had one of the most explosive moments between the two peaches. Leaks acted like she was going to spit on Moore and things got completely out of hand. Now, to me... <laughs> That whole scene, she did hog up some stuff. But Nene was sitting there throwing peanuts and popcorn at the child. <laughs> and you were like, that should have been written up. That's something we physically saw. We knew Nene was kind of tipsy as well. But she was sitting there throwing peanuts at the girl. I'm like, girl, I've been throwing food at Nene. We just had a food fight like y'all did. And, oh, I ain't do it, but I was accustomed to watching it. Uh, having food fights in the cafeteria when we was in elementary school as well as high school. Girl, I'm like, are we doing that, Nene? Are we doing that? It would have been befitting if Kenya would have sat up there and threw some food at Nene. And then, you know, it's just been a, a fight or whatever. But Kim ain't never came down off her chair to do no mess like that. She talked a lot of shit. Oh, yes, she did. And she did come off kind of prejudiced in some ways. You know what I'm saying? Especially when she had that uh nanny called what her name squeaky um damn what was that girl's name is it queenie i think her name was it might have been queenie i don't know but she was just treating her like a, a second class maid or something not a friend not a fr you know some type of um relationship where they had a good friendship but it was like a good employer relation type you know situation but child she was treating her like, like a, a straight up slave. But anyway, moving now. That was just my sidebar. We're going to go back to the article. Uh, it says more. Revealed during the Real Housewives of Atlanta vacation that she was upset with Leeks because she insulted her unborn daughter. Leeks made a comment about Moore's appearance while she was pregnant and compared her to a buffalo. And see, that is accurate information right there. She compared Kenya to a buffalo. Yes, yeah, she was pregnant. And by default, you would say, okay. Because she did say, what is Kenya having a buffalo? You know, I don't know. Okay, okay, Nene. Now, you know you shouldn't have said that. But I took it as Nene was calling Kenya as a buffalo. And she was trying to make a real big dig at her. Not saying that baby Brooklyn was a buffalo. You know what I'm saying? Nene don't come for the kids. But she sure will come for the parents all day, every day. Yes, she will. <sighs> but 
that's where things kind of went wrong. And it just seemed like um, Kenya's going to hold on that to dear life. And I'm telling she being a dead horse with that shit because I'm tired of hearing about it. I'm tired of hearing. I'm like, Nene don't know that child. Okay, that's just like somebody calling you an ego or somebody calling you uh, unattractive or somebody calling you stupid. They don't know you like that. You just push those words aside, okay? Like, you ain't got nothing better than that. Do you have anything better? Okay, you call me a buffalo girl. I was pregnant, all right? And I still look fine, all right? That's what she should have took it, but she was like, yeah, she called my child a buffalo. Forget about the child being called a buffalo. She called you a buffalo. Did you, did you forget about that part? She said you were carrying a buffalo. So, in essence, if you took it back... Kenya Moore, she was calling you a buffalo. That's what you should have been saying. You trying to call me a buffalo. You trying to say I look exactly like a buffalo girl. You did better saying I look like a kangaroo. Okay, that's what you should have said. You should have had more better choices with your animals who you were trying to compare me with. We would have just been like that. Okay, but she told me, she called my baby a buffalo. Damn, she called both of y'all a buffalo then. How about that? How about that, Kenya Moore? But you want to hold on to this little wedge. But she called my child a buffalo. She called my child a buffalo. She called my child a buffalo. And you're going to go with it. We're tired of that. We're seriously tired. And you're not coming in. No, you're not. Stay out there. But anyway, we go back to the article. It says, however, Leeks thinks her comments were not as harsh as some of Moore's past behavior on the show. Okay. Uh, Nene goes in to say, I was like, girl, cut it out. Lee said in an interview with Entertainment Tonight. And the things that I've heard her say was that they use my daughter, my husband, my mother. Those are the three things you don't use against me. And I'm like, sidebar, can you, who are you to tell what a person can use and not use against you when y'all are in war and y'all in the battles of the world or uh, words y'all using words instead of your fists your hands so y'all in a blood uh sweat and tears type of thing okay ain't nothing off guard when you mad and you upset and you know you can't hit that person then you got to go for the juggler and, and whatever words may come out they just in the heart of battle it may not be something you truly feel but you're just trying to get that person a little teed off a little jolted and that's the best you can do because you feel like you're winning when you're having a war of the words going on okay but like you said, when somebody gets on uh, your nerve or they don't did something that you don't like. And then you're talking about when they spraying bullets and they have a gun. I come back with a bazooka. Don't get mad when I go big and go hard. Uh, then you shouldn't get mad when somebody's coming for what you say. My daughter, my husband, or my mother. They don't know them people, so how could they hurt you? How could the whatever they say about your daughter, your husband, your mama, they don't know them. Y'all ain't all sat down and broke bread together or had intimate conversations. Now, if you did that, yeah, you have an ass whooping coming, okay? Because you don't invite them in your house, your life, and y'all don't share some intimate things with one another, okay? That true friends, true family do from time to time. But if she just know of your husband, of your child, of your mother, words, girl, they only are words. Words can never hurt you, okay? So I don't know where you're coming for this. But then you go after people's husbands, like Phaedra Parks, Peter, you know, Greg. You go after all of them, but you don't want nobody coming after your husband. Is that so? Is that how we play these games? Can you need to sit down somewhere? But anyway, going back to the article, it says, Have you forgotten the footage that we have? Are you talking about everybody's husband and marriage from Kim Fields? Yeah, y'all remember she called Kim Fields a uh, husband, a, a gay man? Uh-huh. They said he get down in the men's pool. Y'all remember Kenya Moore saying that about Kim Fields' husband? Yes, she said that. She said that's what they talk about, uh, what they saying in Hollywood and some circles she has been privy to. And I'm like, really, Kenya? <laughs> really? So what if somebody said your husband looked like he kind of be in the men's pool, okay, with that nose ring going on? All right? You'll be mad. You'll be trying to go throat for throat. But, yeah, then talk about Portia Williams' husband. We know you don't log Dennis out from time to time. And then, of course, the famous, infamous P 
pool trip you and Apollo took while y'all was out on some, um, I guess it was a cash trip. You and Apollo was playing by the pool and he threw you in the pool and picked you up and all that stuff. And he had his wife right there. Weren't that a little too over flirtation with someone else's husband, girl? Okay. Yeah, you showed your ass there. But you don't want nobody to come for Mark. Okay. Mm-hmm. Or your daughter or your mom. Girl, please. All fair love and war. You never know what you're going to get when you're having a battle with the words, girl. So put it on your big panty drawers, okay? And soak it up. Don't matter if they talk about Brooklyn. It don't matter if they talk about your life and what's going on with Ma. It don't matter about they say your mama didn't want you this, that, and that. Tisket a tasket of get me a brand new yellow basket, girl, okay? Words shall never hurt you. Now, when they put their hands on you, then it's going to be a misunderstanding on their part because you finna show them where the flow is, okay? Yes, where the flow is so they can eat up all that carpet or that manoleum tile you got down there, all right? And probably have to go get some stitches from the ER room. But that's called self defense, baby girl. But all of these words. Verbally, they don't mean nothing. Let it brush over your shoulder, honey. Don't only dust your shoulder off, like Jay Z said. Ladies are pimps now. Go and dust your shoulders off. Okay, we're going back to the article. It says, uh, you know, to everyone, it doesn't make sense. So, how dare you have the rules apply to everyone but yourself? Totally agree. Totally agree. Leeks feels that Moore just wanted to harbor ill will against her to get attention. But she wanted to hold this against me and roll with it to the end. Because I am Nene Leeks. Leeks added. And when you connect your name with Nene Leeks' name, people pay attention. Nene's tooting her own horn, of course. Okay, my sidebar. So, and these girls know that. So, that's why they do what they do. Okay. Then it says, does Kenya Moore want to be Kim Zosiak? Moore is not the only housewife Leeks has had an explosive relationship with. In the past, her friendship with Kim Zosiak turned sour and became extremely toxic. Leeks believes that Moore wants to take Zosiak's place and have legendary fights with her. Okay, but the problem with that is Kenya is that Kim and I had a real friendship. Lee said, we actually lived in the same neighborhood. We had a real friendship. So there were real feelings there. With you, it's like eating cardboard. It's dry. No, thank you. <laughs> Leeks feel that Moore doesn't have a real issue with her, but it's pushing her agenda to create drama and be relevant. You know what? I love to see a real battle, Leeks continue. If there's some real issue there, it's okay. But when the issue is not that real, it's like, I don't know. I guess they call that making good TV. I don't know. I call it making stupid. However, the tastiest peach in Atlanta said that she will have another blow up with more doing baby Burris's, um baby shower in an upcoming episode. And we have to look forward to that whenever they show it to us. Because, of course, you know, we're on this lockdown, shutdown type of thing. Because Mr. Corona and virus is out there. Mrs. Virus. And they tan some streets up and some counties up, some states up. And they affecting the whole god dogged world. Do you hear what I'm saying? The whole doggone it world. But anyway, that's all I have for this particular video, guys. Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all let me know. Do you really think um, she wants some le legendary status and fussing with Nene going back and forth? Honey, really to me, Kenya Moore and uh, Nene Lee's can be sisters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like that silver sibling rivalry going on. Because I really don't take them serious no more. Not when I saw Nene throw them peanuts and popcorn at her. I'm like, girl, if you ain't nothing but the, uh, what do you call that popcorn, jiffy popcorn throwing female and that doggone planter's man peanut, you had me just laughing, giggling to myself. I said, Lord, what is she going to throw next, a piece of fruit? <laughs> Nene ain't got no sense whether she tips it or she's sober. It don't matter. Nene going to give you some entertainment. Only thing Kenya give me is just too much vulgarness. You know, she always talking, calling people cunts and stuff. And she know. 
time you got a white mom, I believe, a white dad, or hell, one of them. Um, as you know, that pretty much word that's what you pretty much call white people to get under their skin. But for a black woman, you ain't got to do nothing to call her a garden tool, which is a hoe or a bitch, and she all up on you. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, can't just go too much with the vulgarity. So I can't agree when Tane was trying to say, you ain't got to be cussing at me and, and, and talking about getting hood and all like that. And then you want to act like, can you want to say she classy? But I'm like, uh-uh, honey, you ashy and trashy when you're associating, your, associating yourself with who you're trying to play on the Real Housewives of Atlanta because it ain't no class in you at all. I ain't saying no class, no way, no shape, form, or fashion. Okay, baby girl. So, get it got it good that's all i had for this particular video so i'm asking now my fam to come in what say you fam about this particular video but before before i let go in my frankie beverly and may's voice i want to give some shout outs yes i want to give some shout outs to my family because they love me on this youtube that's my family my family affair yes i want to say hey to leslie barber yes yeah, she took a minute and dropped down in them comments and expressed herself she said eva said only nene took it personally the challenge because cynthia candy and portia also took the challenge okay girl glad you stopped by I don't know what challenge you're talking about, but okay, if she took the bait, all right. But see, one thing about Eva, she don't stand in her shit. That's why I can't get down with Eva, but maybe I can. So I'm giving her hope, hoping that she don't get pregnant for season 13 if they're asked to bring her back. And she show us who she is. You know what I'm saying? Get in the ring with them women in battle without me feeling guilty about getting on her because she's pregnant. Okay, that's all I got to say. But thank you for stopping by, Leslie Barber. Then we got Corliss Holly stopped by about three hours ago. She wrote, we may have just heard about it a couple of months ago, but Trump and his coat administration were made aware of it in early December 2019. Facts, please. Okay, that was a, a video I did on Nene trying to cuss out her youngest son about hanging out with his friends. Almost close to curfew time when we got Mr. Corona and Miss Virus hanging out there. But thank you, Corliss, for stopping by. Love you. Okay, then we got Amy VW. Yeah, she said, if Kenya's spending all this tea on her supposed marriage, why would why would Mark trust her uh, to let her in? She doesn't seem like a trusting person. She would use it against you for sure. Hey, Kenya use every arsenal possible when she's in the uh war words with you she don't care she gets amnesia running around now but thank you amy vw for always stopping by the house seeing what i got cooking up in here yes thank you thank you thank you okay then we got quiana jackson stopped by she said good morning lady good morning Quiana Jackson, or should I say good evening, dear? These people need to stop. This is what she's commenting to one of the videos about Candy. Going around here giving financial advice. She says these people need to stop. She's giving her kids cars and stuff. They are not working for it. Well, I'm still at work. I'm a bus driver. I'm still paying my bills. My friends was telling me about these things. Bank does. Uh, but me, I'm still going to pay it. Also, we as people need to... Uh, get some insurance for our home or warranty so basically when your house is uh pretty much paid for or, or you've been paying the loans as you should when you fall on hard times they have like a special built-in program that you can take advantage of to keep you still looking pretty while you you know uh trying to get more employment together they'll pay your bills for you or pay your house note at least if uh, you get into one of those insurance programs so thank you for that advice i knew about that my mortgage company has that uh and yes that's it that's some good advice my lady quiana jackson so thank you for stopping by educating us and getting us more informed and definitely getting in them comments talking about subject matter thank you thank you thank you love you then we had uh somebody named J jennifer Plate, plata, plati. I don't know, but you know, I had to delete one of her comments because you know she was getting on my nerve. But I let the other one stay. Uh, she said, "You 
uh, you afford to tell a mother how to talk to her son? I sure am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. When you put it out on social media, how you, you know, trying to chastise your child on the social media trending hot topics, then I'm going to come back with my opinion. Okay, every time, every time if it interests me, I'm going to put my opinion down, all right, on my platform, okay? Then we got Mary Saul White. Hey, baby girl, where you been? Where you been? Where you been? And good evening to you, love. Yes. Uh, then we have Diva D stopped by. She said, blood still black no no matter how you bleach it. I guess so, baby girl. If you say so, sound good to me. Uh, then she said, Nene is too damn much. She acts like she can't see the forest for the trees. Who does what? Nene is pondering around like everything is, is everything. So if Corona comes home, who can say who brought that ish? Nene is too self serving for me. I'm out with Nene. She has to know pronates. Um, I, I don't get that one really. Okay. But pretty much I feel the same way you do Diva D. She done did the dirt. She done came around him uh, saying everything and sitting up there on travel the continent, the globe, the states. And then she going to try to blame her son for bringing in Mr. Corona and Miss Virus. Nah, stop with you, Nene, and them suitcases. Okay, baby, stop with them suitcases. All right, then we got S. Hutchinson stop by. Hey, girl, hey, thank you for the praise. Hands, the kissy, the huggy faces, and the heart. Love you, too. Like you say, I love you down. I love you to the core, girl. Yes, it's Hutchison. She's a YouTube blogger. Go on over and check her channel out, okay? Then we got Charla, uh, Charla Thompson. I'm sorry, Charla Thomas. Say, glad you're feeling better. Leave my girl alone. Can you laugh a lot? Girl, you know I can't leave Kenya alone. <laughs> Kenya won't leave me alone, okay? She always out in them streets giving me something to talk about. Yeah, it's fine. She making her money. I'm making my money. I ain't making nowhere near the plateau where she got going on. But yes, Kenya Moore and Nene Lisa had a real housewives franchise of Atlanta. People love me talking about them. I will continue to talk about them because, yes, those are my heavy hitters. And, uh, yeah, people like me talking about them for some reason, okay? Then we got... Pimp, my pimp in the house, P.M. Patricia Kaysen. She writes, doesn't the light shine through to the truth? I'll wait three months or so. I wrote that I've never seen Mark's parents interact or engage with Kenya since the pre- Wait a minute. Perpetual uh, baby shower party. The whole charade was out of character for that family and Mark. It was clear that he really wasn't comfortable with the culture emphasis Kenya included in that event. Neither have they shown their faces on Bravo or the internet that I could find. This is why I said before Kenya didn't pay, pay Mark's taxes. Kenya paid for a sperm bricklet. <laughs> but now P.M. But Patricia Case, she always dusted her shoulders off. She brings us the truth from her perspective, child. And I ain't got nothing wrong with that. I ain't got nothing wrong with that, girl. Thank you for stopping by. Then we got Sandra Chestnut. She said, hello. I like listening to you. You're a breath of fresh air. I really can get into what you're saying. Um, keep telling these people the truth. Much love. Well, I'm giving love back to you, Sandra Chestnut. Drop by as often as you can. Okay, try by as often as you can. We love to have you here. Then, of course, Tim always dropping by. Hey, Tim, how you doing? Got my uh, Annie Gannot. She's always up in here. I, she she one of my heavy hitters. Her, Marisol, my pimp, Kaysen, um, Leslie Barber, Amy, VW, uh, Charlie Thompson is one. Leslie Barber is another one. Uh, Rita Hopkins. Uh, am I forgetting somebody? Please forgive me. Not really uh, trying to do that. I did say Marisol, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, but thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by. Always uh, sitting up there holding the house down whether I'm in here or not. Okay, Tommy Caldwell, yes. Um, a boy came in. Where Ronald Boyk is at? Where with Griffin at? Golly, do I have to keep calling y'all out? Damn, I have to get on the phone and look for y'all, okay? Put a search party out there. Put the big tower lights out there. Like they, you know, that Batman sign. Be looking for Ronald Boykins, okay? Griffin. Wesley. West, is it West Griffin? Yeah, where the hell he at? Ain't been here for a minute. 
All right, then Tommy Caldwell, y'all better step in here. Check on me from time to time, at least once a week. Damn. But anyway, love y'all all to the core, and I will see y'all next video. All right, be blessed.